I'm Milizan McNabney and I'm a harpsichordist and forte pianist and I'm from Montreal and now live in Quebec City. This instrument is absolutely beautiful. It's such a joy to get to play it. It was made by Paul McNulty. It's a copy of a forte piano by Conrad Graf. So it's a new instrument that's a copy of an old instrument. I've played some of Paul's instrument before. He's a very famous maker and a lot of schools, a lot of halls have his instrument, mostly in Europe, so it's a rare thing. I think there's one now in Montreal as well, but not the same model. The Forte piano is basically from the invention of the piano, the mechanism of hammers hitting the string. They started to be popular around 1750 and they were in constant evolutions. There's so many differences, but a few big ones. There are not as many notes, so this is only six and a half octaves. It's smaller and the structure is all made of wood. The modern piano has a big frame that's in cast iron. Everything is to put more tension on the strings to get more sound. So this is more delicate sound. The strings are straight from here to the end of the piano. Um, modern pianos have crossed strings again to have more tension. Um, and also the bottom of it is closed, so it's a closed box. The modern piano doesn't really have a bottom, so the sound can ring on the stage um, and get more sound. So everything is to get more sound on the modern piano. There is a lot to discover on a forte piano at the other end of the spectrum, from piano to pianissimo to pianissimo. Those are all things that the ear can like tune down to, to discover. The piano and the harpsichord cohabited. At the mid 18th century, they were around at the same time. And back then, they were quite similar. A five octave forte piano looks the same shape as a harpsichord, so the difference is really how you make the sounds. On a harpsichord, the string is plucked by a plectrum, and the piano, the sound is made by the hammer hitting the string. Basically, the difference, and that's where the name comes from, is that on the pianoforte, you could play soft and loud, and on the harpsichord, you could only play one volume. The piano is made in two parts. So you have the whole structure, which is basically a box um, that's made out of wood. And you have covering the whole inside, what we call the soundboard. And the soundboard is the nicest wood. It's very thin and it's kind of the soul of the instrument. The strings resonate and they communicate that to the soundboard and that's how you get the sound of the instrument. The other part of is the action. So you have the keyboard and the keys and those activate some hammers. That's your instrument in two parts. Paul McNulty, he's an American and he was working in Amsterdam and now he's in the Czech Republic. Basically, he established his workshop in a place where he could get the best wood to build his instrument. So that's where he lives now. He's near Prague, outside of Prague, in the city Divizov. It's written here on the instrument. And it's the same wood that was used by the makers in the time that these instruments are from. Woods, trees from the same forests. So that's what he uses to build the instruments. The earlier instruments didn't project as much, they didn't have as much tension on the strings. The modern instruments have the metal strings, they have more tension. 
As performers, what we do and we think that's what the composer's focused on as well, is that you're speaking the music a bit more than producing the sound of the music, so that's the approach. The modern piano, it's a fantastic instrument, but it's really a beast of an instrument. It produces so much sound, it's incredibly loud. As a modern pianist, if you're a collaborative musician, you have to watch out for the balance. That means how loud one instrument is compared to another. You have balance issues with the modern piano, and as a pianist, you always have to check that you're not too loud if you're playing with singers. Now, if you're playing some Schubert Lieder on this piano, you don't have to ask yourself so many questions. It's just the sound is just at the right level without so much effort, so it's perfect.